newest U.S. Navy aircraft carrier awaits commissioning, passes last sea trial. The USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, passed its last major sea trial and only awaits official delivery to the U.S. Navy in June before its commissioning that same month. The carrier will retain its current designation as PCU, pre-commissioning unit, Gerald R. Ford until her commissioning into the Navy. She will officially become USS, United States ship, Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, only after her commissioning. Her keel was laid in 2009 under the administration of former U.S. President Barack Obama. She will be the first and only carrier to be commissioned under the presidency of Donald Trump. She's the first of the three-ship Gerald R. Ford class of aircraft carrier, the first new Navy carrier class in over 40 years. The warship is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald R. Ford, who was in office from 1974 to 1977. She has two other sister ships, USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, to be launched in 2018 and currently under construction and the USS Enterprise, CVN-80, scheduled for launch in 2023. The Ford began her acceptance trials on May 24 and completed them two days later. The acceptance trials were conducted by the U.S. Navy's Board of Inspection and Survey INSERV, in the Atlantic Ocean and are the final step before delivery. Acceptance trials are primarily aimed at demonstrating to INSERV the ability of the ship's crew to conduct operations at sea, and that the ship is constructed in accordance with contract specifications. Congratulations to our Navy and industry team for all the great work that has led us to this exciting milestone," said Rear ADM. Brian Antonio, Program Executive Officer for Aircraft Carriers. As a result of much dedication and hard work, delivery of CVN-78 is close at hand, and we are looking forward to commissioning the ship into the fleet this summer. The Ford class will replace the Nimitz-class carriers, of which 10 are in service with the Navy. She features new technologies such as the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System EMILS, the Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, and Dual Band Radar DBR. <laughs>